Hi everyone! Today we're going to do a simple experiment to understand how Ohm's law and the power law actually work in real circuits. We'll see what happens when we connect an LED to a power supply, how its voltage and current are controlled, and why we need a resistor to keep the LED from burning out. Here are the parts we're going to use. A power supply set to 13 volts, a resistor, an LED, a voltmeter, and an ammeter. The LED we're using has a working voltage of around 2 volts and a safe operating current of about 5 milliamps. If we connect this LED directly to the power supply, way too much current would flow through the LED and it would burn out almost instantly. That's why we add a series resistor. The resistor limits the current and drops the extra voltage, so the LED lights up properly and safely. Now let's use Ohm's law to figure out what resistor we need. Ohm's law says V equals I times R. That means voltage in volts equals current in amps times resistance in ohms. Since our LED needs about 2 volts, we have to drop the extra 11 volts from the power supply across a resistor. So we apply Ohm's law to calculate the resistor value, where the voltage drop should be 11 volts. The formula is R equals V source minus V LED. Divided by I, R equals 2200 ohms. So, we need a resistor of about 2200 ohms. Now we'll connect the circuit like this. One leg of the resistor goes to the anode, or the positive leg of the LED. The other leg of the resistor connects to the positive terminal of the power supply. And the negative terminal of the power supply goes to the cathode, or negative leg of the LED. We can see the LED lights up nicely without any damage. Now let's play with our formulas to better understand how they work. We measure the power supply voltage and the resistor value with a multimeter so we can use them in our calculations. You can check a full tutorial on how to use a multimeter to measure voltage, current, and resistance in my previous video. We measure the exact value of the resistor. The resistor measures 2,200 ohms, which exactly matches its nominal value. Next, we measure the exact voltage of the power supply. Now, let's measure the current. We set the ammeter to the milliampere mode and connect it in series with the circuit. To do this, we disconnect one leg of the resistor from the power supply and place the ammeter in between. Once everything is connected again, we can see the current flowing, and the ammeter shows about 5 milliamps, or 0.05 amps. This confirms that the LED is operating safely within its allowed range. Next, let's measure the voltages. The voltage across the LED is about 2 volts, and the voltage across the resistor is about 11 volts. Now let's look at the electric power law, which works not just in electronic circuits, but in all electrical circuits. Power is the amount of energy consumed or converted per unit of time, and it's represented by the letter P. The unit of power is the watt, shown as W. The basic formula for power is P equals V times I. This means power in watts equals voltage in volts times current in amps. This formula shows the relationship between voltage and current. The power listed on electric devices, adapters, or chargers is calculated the same way. When you see a mobile charger rated at 15 watts, it means the product of the voltage and the maximum output current equals 15 watts. If the output voltage is 5 volts, the maximum current is about 3 amps. And if the voltage is 9 volts, the maximum current is around 1.67 amps. Or if a laptop charger says 100 watts, that means the output voltage and current are roughly 20 volts times 5 amps, 
which equals 100 watts. Now, let's go back to our circuit. Let's calculate the power consumed by each component and the total power in the circuit using the values we measured. For the LED, P LED equals V times I. P LED equals 0.01 watts. So our LED only consumes about 10 milliwatts of power. Next, let's calculate the power for the resistor and explain why choosing the right power rating for a resistor is important. For the resistor, PR equals V times I, P resistor equals 0.055 watt. So we can see that the resistor consumes about 55 milliwatts of power, and this power is released as heat. When choosing a resistor, its rated power should be higher than the actual power to prevent it from getting too hot or burning out. Here, we have a quarter watt resistor, which is 250 milliwatts, so it's completely safe. We could even use lower power resistors, 125 milliwatts resistor, safely in this circuit. Now, let's calculate the total power consumption of our circuit. The total power is the sum of the resistor's power loss and the LED's power consumption. That's 10 milliwatts plus 55 milliwatts, which equals 65 milliwatts. This should match the power delivered by the power supply. The power supply voltage is 13 volts, and the current through the circuit is 5 milliamps. Multiplying these two gives 65 milliwatts, which matches the total power consumed by the resistor and LED. So with this simple circuit, we've seen how Ohm's law and the power law work. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you don't miss any of our future videos.